little bit bigger than a palm size, almost flutter of uh, quartz, a, a single crystal. But I'll take you around the edges slowly. And then what I failed to show you in the still pictures, I'll show you in a minute. Why I say almost a floater is because there's a little bit of contact on this, where is it? I saw it a minute ago, on this edge over here. So this may have been connected onto matrix over there. The bottom section is totally crystalline. That is all crystalline as well. So it's definitely doubly terminated and not the typical termination you'd find on quartz. It's a multitude of smaller crystals. And then we go across this face. We have a multitude of the larger crystals, uh, uh, one crystal with a multitude of head. Esoterically uh, uh, speaking, there, there is most likely a term for this formation. Quite, quite magnificent. And size-wise, a little bit bigger than a palm size. Uh, inclusions, I can't see at the moment. There are definitely inclusions in this. Perhaps some Rebekat asbestos, which would be some uh, sea green needles, of course, included in the silica. So they're, they're not gonna, they're not harmful because they are trapped inside the silica solutions or inside the quartz crystals per se. All the way from the Zomba Plateau, Mount Molosa, Malawi. I'll just show you that angle as well. Look at that. All crystalline right across these edges. See these interesting, so Lemurian writings with uh, maybe an Egyptian touch to them. All the way from Malawi, quartz, a quartz crystal, a single quartz crystal.